One of the key things about rewilding or, or you know, big scale nature restoration is actually letting nature do its own work. That's the really exciting thing about it. It's not about huge interventions from, from people, from machines. It is about being patient. It is about creating the right conditions for nature to have a chance of restoring and bringing back its own balance. Well, rewilding is the process of kind of allowing nature to effectively take its course. Um, so mo most of the land in the UK, or certainly in lowland Britain and in England and, and Wales, has been fairly intensively managed uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years, whether that's through farming or intensive farming or extensive farming. So to me, rewilding is a very broad term and I like to use nature restoration. I think that's more of an accurate term just because we're taking the environment as we see it now and trying to restore it to its historical state. Nature is in a really difficult place at the moment. We've, we've lost some really iconic species, tree sparrows for example, 75% uh, uh, you know, drop in tree sparrow population. 70% of species are in, are, are in trouble. So for those people who are in a position to do something about it, um, those people who have the financial wherewithal to do something about it, and those people who have the expertise to do something about it, to have an outlet to, to, to see something happen and to have an outlet that works within the economic model uh, is fantastic as well. But on the whole, the younger generations know how important the environment is. We need to preserve what we have uh, for future generations. And well, we're, we're in a crisis. We're in a biodiversity crisis. Um, some people call it the biodiversity crisis. Some people call it the nature crisis. Um, we're in a climate crisis as well, and the two things are very closely interlinked. Turtle doves, you hardly see turtle doves now in southern England. Um, we've lost uh, you know, mammals like the pine martin. So we, we need to create and recreate um, spaces for these, these, these species to thrive again. We don't want, nobody wants to grow up into a world where um, everyday birds that people are used to seeing are vanishing. Uh, nobody, nobody feels comfortable with that. Show me someone who feels comfortable with the idea that their kids might not be able to see uh, the birds in the garden that they see on, on, a, on a basis. I mean that's one level of looking at it. I think we're all working for the same goal. More and more people now accept that this is where we have to go. At the ground floor level, really trying to shape that change.